In this video, we will cover something more about the subqueries. That is, we will see about the correlated subquery in which the outer query would be dependent on the inner and the inner query would be dependent on the outer query. Apart from that, we will also cover the multi-column subquery in which you can pass the conditions for the subquery for multiple columns. So let's find out practically what all is there in the advanced subqueries. So let's get started with the implementation of correlated subquery. So as I said, the correlated subquery is something where the inner query will be dependent on the outer query and outer query will be dependent on the inner query. For each row of outer query, the inner query will execute. So let's have an example where I will find out the employees who are earning the highest in their specific department. In the previous video, we have already covered like how to find the employee earning the maximum salary. But now I am not concerned with the single employee, but I want to get the employees who are earning highest in their each depart individual department. So uh, let's start with that. So what all I am looking for? The uh, select first name, comma salary, comma department ID from employees. And here what I'll do is I will just give an alias like EMP outer. All right, so this EMP outer is the alias for this employees table because I'm going to use the reference of this outer query in the inner one. So that's why I have passed this alias. And since I want to find the highest salary, means the top one, so I will just get the first record from the top. So for that, I will use a condition like where one is equal to because I'm just looking for the first record here. And now I am good to start with the uh, inner query now. All right. So in the inner query, what I'll do is I will simply find select count distinct salary. All right. Distinct salary means if there are multiple employees are getting the same amount of salary, I will just get a single occurrence of that. I am not looking for the uh, duplicate records in the output. So from employees again in the inner query I'm using the same table so now I will give the different alias here EMP inner all right and now I'll have to make the condition where I will compare the outer query employee the employee from the outer one its department ID is equal to the inner ones department all right and now this condition will tell like since i'm looking for the employee earning maximum in their own department so first thing that i want to compare is the department and the second thing that i want to compare is the salary so and emp outer salary is less than or equal to emp inner dot salary all right so this is the condition here after that if you want you can just uh, this is the inner query that is completed you can just pass the order by clause order by uh, department id that is the column three so order by three. Oh, i need to put a dot here by mistake i put the greater than symbol so let's edit it here let's put a dot that was a silly mistake let's execute and here you can see from each department 10 20 30 40 and so on we are having the employee earning the maximum salary so this is how you can start working with the correlated subquery where as you can see for each particular row outer query means first of all this outer query will execute and it will get a department and a salary for the current row and that will be compared here with the inner query and here since we are getting the top one so i just pass the one is equal to and this will ensure me like the distinct means the unique date unique salary is being calculated and the count will give you the record one for that employee 
who is earning the maximum salary. So as soon as this condition will be matched, means the count will return 1 for the specific record, then that particular record will be here in the output. Now let's get started with the multiple column subqueries. So far in the subqueries we have compared the value of a single column. If you want you can just pass the AND or OR operator and you can start with the second condition which is comparing maybe some other column and again you can start writing a subquery for the second condition as we have done for a single one. But if you want you can also pass the multiple columns all together. So let's take an example here. So here what I am doing is I am just finding the first name salary department department ID from employees where let's say I want to compare the department ID so I'll put them in the parenthesis alright so where department ID comma let's say manager ID in and now I can start writing the subquery for these two columns. Make sure the sequence should remain same. Like here, I'll write select, let's start it in different line. Select department ID, comma manager ID from employees where employee where salary I should say let's take any condition is greater than or equal to 10,000 alright so here you can see like I have compared the value of the multiple columns as putting them in the parenthesis you can also write it like where department ID is equal to this statement this inner query and manager ID is equal to or in this subquery alright so this is the multiple row subquery now let's see how can we start writing a subquery for the from clause so far we have used the subquery in the condition where I have used the where clause but now let's start writing this in the from clause so what I'll do is I'll write a simple subquery uh, first so as in the correlated subquery we have already ex uh, discussed this particular statement where we are finding the employee earning the maximum salary in their specific department. Now let's say I want to use this particular query as the data source means I want to retrieve from this particular table I want to just make it as a virtual table. So for such scenario I can also use the subquery in the from clause. So far in the from clause we have only used the table name which is nothing but a data source for us. And now I want to use this particular statement, this particular output as my data source means whenever I will make a query from this one it will simply get it from this one. Now for doing that what I will do is I will simply say select first name comma salary from and now after from I will start writing this statement the same statement which we have written right here so for that let's uh, rewrite this statement alright and after that I'll have to close the parenthesis of this from clause which I have opened after the from alright and uh, now I will just pass a condition the where clause means select then it's a where clause and sorry from clause then after it's where clause so where department ID is equal to 60 alright so again I have maybe I'm missing alright oh the spelling of department is, is incorrect so department let's save it execute it and here you will get only a single record that is Alexander 9000. So if 
I will write the same query from the, for uh, by searching the data directly from the table. I would have got the number of records, but here I just got a single record, and I can ensure that this is the one who is earning the maximum salary in department 60. So uh, this is about the using subquery in the from clause, but it will uh, make our query bit complex. Means here you can see the from clause is having a subquery if uh, it is even in even a worse case you may have to put the subquery in the where clause and after all so many subqueries the query will look a bit complex so i can simply replace this particular one using the with clause so let's see how can we start with the with clause now so here after writing the with statement with uh, using the with clause i have already written the subquery which i was going to use in the from clause and here i just make my main query as simple like select asterisk from emp dept max which is already written here where department id is equal to 60 so when i'll execute this one all right maybe i'm missing with some uh, parenthesis yep i didn't close the with clause parenthesis so now it will work fine so here you can see i made my outer query very simple the main query very simple and the subquery which i was supposed to write here i just bind that in the with clause so this is all about the advance of your subquery